Hello, good evening, and welcome to the viewer's voice with the LFC Day Trippers. I'm Gav, and with me this week, you can see, is Andy Cantwell. Andy Cantwell is the man that you will see on Twitter that makes Martin Tyler kind of okay to listen to because you look at the lip sync that's going on. Otherwise, stay well away, Martin Tyler. Um, but Andy, you're very, very welcome on the show. How are you? Thanks very much for having me. Yeah, very good. good very good. good. Um, Andy, of course, is a Liverpool fan. And we'll talk a little bit about Liverpool. Um, I'm gonna, we have some questions for you from the viewers Brilliant. as well, which we'll do later on. But well, I want to talk about the podcast you do yourself. Um, the Martin Tyler stuff, of course. Um, <clears> TV <throat> and movies you're big into. Um, and of yes. course, the Liverpool stuff and being a Liverpool fan as well. Um, I've seen you on Twitter. And mm -hmm. when it comes up on Twitter, I'm waiting to see. Like, Do you know what? I'm, I'm really... <laughs> I'll, I'll be honest, I try to stay away from Martin Tyler as much as I yeah. possibly can, so I'm listening, I'm watching <laughs> US versions of, you know, Peter US Drury. commentary, I can get whatever, and yeah. I try to stay away from him because he does my head in, I'm going to be honest, right, <laughs> so I try to stay away from him, but if I happen to have a match on the Martin Tyler, or Liverpool, and Martin Tyler is, and I have to watch Martin Tyler, I've started to watch it thinking, <laughs> oh, this could be used in the next couple of weeks, are you the same? Yeah. I'm I'm sitting there like this with my hands clasped, just on a, just waiting for him to mess up. Right. <laughs> I'm just, no, not really. Like I, I'm kind of like, uh, yeah, I I kind of like like I I try and not do it if if it doesn't if it doesn't work. Like there's one or two I think I've probably done that I've kind of forced the issue a bit or something like that. Yeah. So if there's something that's really like like all right, I can definitely do something with this, um, then I'll sort of crack on with that. But it was only like. It only started because um, if you if you remember towards the end of last season, <clears throat> that Southampton game, and uh, <clears throat> like Minamino scored, yeah. um, and then Matip scored this mad loop and header. But when when the Minamino goal went in, it was just like, oh, it's one one, and it was so it seemed so like what's his, I was like, what's his problem? Yeah. And uh, hold on, and did so you I only, just did. did you only notice this at this Minamino goal. No, like I I seen it before, but it was the first time that I'd actually thought, like you know, like oh I, I could I could make it I could make a funny video just pretending to be him being being yeah, really annoyed, okay. and uh, and it was just kind of like I I just threw it out like I I I had a TikTok account and I had like nine like literally nine followers like my brother and a couple of other people and that yeah. was it and I thought and I thought ah oh, well if I can make my brother laugh with this like great yeah. and then i just put this video up and I, I went back to it like a couple of hours later like there was nothing happening i was like oh yeah fair enough and then i opened it up again an hour or two later and there's like hundreds of likes i was like no way yeah and then it just kept it just kept going from there like it was yeah it's all you've, it's all been mad like you've hit gold with liverpool fans <laughs> because martin yeah. tyler has literally done my head in i would say for <laughs> easily How 10 many years? years now easily 10 like <laughs> Martin Tyler used to be on with Andy Gray, right? On yeah, Sky. I remember and, that. And you know, they they were they were enthusiastic. You know, <clears> something <throat> happened and they'd they'd be shouting, and I didn't you didn't really notice who you know you didn't really notice yeah. the change in what they were saying from game on game, regardless of who was playing. And then it just they <laughs> just decided like Martin Tyler just decided for me that if Liverpool score a goal, it's literally like he's at a wake. Okay. Yeah. And if anyone else scores against Liverpool, it's like, you know, it's like he's had a tired day, of hard day at work, but someone's jolted him into action with, do you want to go for a point? And he's like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah I'll go for a point. No, I need yeah. to get out of this house. And, you know, I, I was looking up your videos and the Martial one, the Martial one at Old Trafford is where it really, for me, was like, what the fuck is going on here? Like, he's, like, he's roaring as if he's in the Strefford end. Welcome to I've never, and, Yeah, I've never heard a commentator doing that where it's just like, oh, yes. Yeah. Like, it was yeah. so, <laughs> Oh, it was just yeah. so, it was too perfect. Like, yeah. But uh, it's just, uh, you, you've hit gold. Like, and, and oh, did you just see it growing so quick? Did it, did it just? I, I kind of like, like the first one was just like a total fluke. And I just thought, like, I wasn't, I had no intention of ever making any videos. Like, like my brother's fairly famous um, and he does a lot of like internet videos and you see him on yeah. ads and all this sort of stuff. And I just kind of thought like, ah, oh, that's his thing. Like, I'm not going to, I'm not going to do that. Yeah. And, uh, and then when this one took off, when, when the Minamino one took off, then I was like, right, maybe I'll try another one. And like, 
was I was I was very nervous putting out the second one because the second one I was just waiting for everyone to be like, "No, nah, you lost it." Yeah, you know, yeah, I was just, yeah. Just waiting, yeah. like you peaked, you know, mate. Like, one video and you peaked. Yeah, no, nah, you're trying too hard, now, mate. <laughs> yeah, uh, you know, and uh, and that was the, the second one I did. I think was the, um, it was Liverpool Arsenal. I think it was where it was like. Robertson passed to, passed to Firmino. He kind of is, just it, it was it oh, was, like, it, it was last season. Yeah, and uh, and the way he's just like Robertson, like he was yeah. so like like oh shit. Yeah. Um, so it just kind of and then I think the Marsh album was next, and I just sort of kept kept sort of going. But I was kind of like I I kind of um like I wanted I did Martin Tyler for the first few, and then I was kind of thinking like ah maybe I should branch out a bit more, so it's not all and yeah. like. And it, like any other video that I do doesn't do nearly as as good as as, as the Martin Tyler ones, but yeah. I kind of like I was starting to feel a bit like oh, I don't know like should I should I try something else? So I've tried like Drury and and like uh, Jonathan Pierce and stuff like that because I was I was starting to get a bit like I'd like put them out on TikTok and they'd be fine, but like Twitter people really really hate oh, Martin Tyler, listen. and and I was I feel I felt like I was really like still to this day like even. Even putting up that that last Salah one, I, I had to kind of sit there for a sec because Twitter is so like they 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 want blood, yeah. And it's kind of like you know you get all these comments like oh I'll be happy when he's dead and I'll be you know like real just and I was like I don't want to be the voice of, of this very extreme <laughs> yeah yeah group here yeah and and that's why like even, even like my captions are just really quick like Salah goal versus City like yeah. uh, like I don't I don't dwell on like I'm almost just putting it out and just kind of going back like yeah this, yeah like, yeah yeah because like be easy like yeah i know where you're coming from because yeah. I, i'm not on tiktok right i'm not on TikTok. yeah, yeah you're but better off i need there's the podcast like we, we have an instagram account we have a twitter account um and we begrudgingly kind of have a facebook one but we don't we just put stuff <laughs> over the sake of it whereas like we're quite happy just making our podcast sticking them on twitter to let people know they're on and mm-hmm. then they go on to youtube and they're there and we, we we're not we're yeah. not the greatest that you know, after the show, clipping the show up and showing you little clips yeah. and teasers and stuff like that. And we're like, yeah, okay. And um, we just throw it out there. And if you like it, you like it. But you're yeah, right. Twitter is like, you know, like you said, like, like it's instead, of, too... instead of laughing at that video, people will be going, well, you know what? I, I, and like literally going into this mad fucking yeah, it's, uh, it's, abuse it's of, of Martin Tyler. Like, you know, instead That's of just thing. laughing at the, what you're doing, like, you know. And there was one, like my first introduction to putting videos on Twitter was like, I did one. I don't know if you if you've seen it, but it was one of the earlier ones with uh, Jonathan Pierce when Cantona Kung Fu kicked the the fan. Right. And Jonathan Pierce has gone mad. He's like, I oh, never in all my life and all this sort of stuff. Anyway, apparently, like, there's some there's some story I didn't know anything about it, but basically, a year after that, um, a Palace fan died because because of that incident. Like, there was like fans in a pub. I I, I may be getting the story wrong. But it was basically like sort of based off that incident, someone died. So someone commented and it was like, you know, with, with this article all about this fan who died a couple of years later. And I was like, Jesus, that's horrible. He's like, don't care about, about what you think. Delete it off your TikTok and Twitter if you think it's so horrible. And I was like, fuck, like, yeah. like I didn't expect this. You know what I mean? Yeah. I was like, so was, straight away, I was like, right, Twitter's not for me. Yeah. And then, I, I, and, but, but it is for you, you see. It is. It is now. It it's is. funny because they were doing nothing until I put up one, um, the, one of the Origi ones, and it just just flew out. Like just like there was there was nothing really happening before, and then that one just flew out, and then after that it became like yeah. a real. Well, I, I do know, I do know where I get because people watch it on TikTok. They watch it and they go, oh, "That's really good." They might hit a like and then they move on. Whereas Twitter, yeah. like, well, hold on, let's fucking deep dive into this man's whole life, and you know, yeah, and like, <laughs> just watch it and laugh. You know, yeah, that's way. the thing. And watch like, it I and feel... laugh and, and don't don't take it too seriously. But Twitter has that's become like federal court. Like, yeah, and I ha- and I have to even like someone say on Twitter, like you know, like I'm I'm just taking the piss here. Like I'm yeah. like I'm really not like looking for you know some of the extreme yeah, stuff yeah. that some of these guys are, or they'll like quote tweet me and they'll say something really horrible, and yeah. I'm like, nah, no, like <laughs> I don't yeah, I see, don't agree with this man. Twitter's full of things like woke ratio. Um, yeah, and all other mad words that I don't, I've, I've refused to go and look into because I'm like, mm, I'll just stay yeah. away from that because I don't know exactly. what the fuck ratio is. Um, exactly. it's, it's, it's full of stuff where people just put up videos and go, make it make sense. And I'm like, well, just let, why don't you make sense of it? Stop asking yeah. people to, and 
you know, it, it, it is a mad fucking place. It's an asylum, uh, Twitter. Is. Yeah, exactly. But, so it's, it's but it's just against kind of... that, it doesn't matter because if you put that on TikTok or you put it on Instagram, people will just take the video, you know, because everyone knows yeah. you can just go in and take that video and take record it. a version <clears> of it and stick it on Twitter. And then yeah. that probably gets worse because people go, oh, this, has been, this must be posted on Twitter so I can be annoyed at it, you know, because it's been yeah, posted exactly. by somebody else. It's, it's a bit mad. But... but that's kind of what Twitter is. Twitter is just like this, this, like... I remember I was listening to like Blind Boys podcast before he was like Twitter is just this game where it's like whoever has the biggest complaint wins yeah. and that's and that's basically like like I'll even notice if I'm talking to my mates on Twitter like we kind of talk a little bit diff- different on Twitter than I would if we were like WhatsApping or something like that oh, you know Jesus, what I mean yeah. it has this weird sort of effect on you mentally where you're like right I'm, like I've got to get get my armor on here but like I'm going yeah. into Twitter sort of thing yeah um but but the funny thing is like like Twitter gets the the sort of reputation for being like having the most abusive stuff I think TikTok talk is is actually worse oh well i don't like, know so you could well, you're better off like <laughs> like like there's like a common sort of like saying of you know uh like twitter comments like honestly tiktok comments are just so because your tiktok is like in this like protective little bubble you know what i mean where you can just sort of your user one four seven two five and you can yeah. say whatever you want sort of thing you know yeah that's true well, well i suppose it. twitter's like that as well because you can go in there and make it like, you just know, do whatever yeah honest, yeah and yeah. you know I think Instagram's probably the safest one because people just watch stuff on Instagram and go, oh, yeah, bang, bang, bang. For me, I, look, and I have then, to say, when yeah, I went to Instagram, yeah. I just go, I comment on very little on Instagram. I just watch it and then go, yeah, and then I yeah. move on. You know, sort of way. That's the thing, but but also, like, it helps being sort of, like, old enough as I am that you kind of, you kind of realise already going in that, like, and like it's not like it sounds like I get loads of hate. Like I really don't like, but it's just like maybe you know ninety nine percent of it's all is all good. But you kind of know at this age, like all right, well that's not really about me. Like yeah. that's about something to do with them. So yeah, exactly. Like, exactly. Right, you know, um, yeah. you're a Liverpool fan though. Oh yes. Um, so let's talk Liverpool a little bit before we go on because I've loads of viewers questions. I want to talk about Liverpool right? and your own part that you do because it's it's intriguing to be honest with you. Um, <laughs> Liverpool fan. You know, yeah. You, you're. Similar age to me, a little bit younger than me, so you've seen as much as I've seen, and you've seen the highs and you've seen the lows. But yeah. um, let's talk about current Liverpool because okay, not a great start to the season. Um, no. It's picked up a little bit. Um, injuries keep hampering us. We have that win against Man City at the weekend, which was brilliant. We have a win which should have been comfortable for me last night against West Ham, but it yeah. ends up being a James <clears throat> Milner block away from being a draw. But where do you think we are? Because we're not too far off the top four. I don't think we're in the toilet race, but we're not too far off the top four. We have four or five league games left, I think, before the, the World Cup yeah. starts. And Do you feel that if Liverpool put in four wins out of five in the, in the next four, I think sorry, so. four in the next five, that you go into that World Cup and you go, you might have a few players back on the back end of it. Yeah. And we're in a much healthier position. Yeah, like we're kind of like if we can just get to the the sort of finish line of of the World Cup, not the finish line, but we get to the World Cup first of all, yeah. let a few players come back. Um, I think I think we definitely can do it. Like for whatever reason, even though we're so far behind and everyone's like title's gone, just because we were fourteen points behind last year with half the season to go, I just kind of think like enough. They've, they've banked enough goodwill with me in the last five years that I'm just kind of like like all right like I still I still have faith like I'm like I'm not really like I'm not I'm not even I don't feel like I, I should even write off the league yet like I know that sounds very optimistic yeah no no uh, the proof is there that from last year but I kind of feel like after the city one I was like okay um it'd be it'd be it'd be classic now if we go and draw nil all at, at, at West Ham mm-hmm. but as soon as he went one up I think the biggest thing for me was like, even though we were kind of hanging on uh, on a couple of occasions, I never thought like I was never worried yesterday watching it, and like I've been worried watching every match before the Man City game. You know, if it's been uh, if there's been one goal in it, but for whatever reason, I don't know if it was just me and I was just in a in a weird mood watching it. But I was just even when they were attacking and when they came close, I was just kind of like I was never. It's kind of like yeah, I think I still. It, it just feels like we're coming away with the three points here, and I think. Just even like I've I've missed that that sort of comfort. Yeah, because we've you know done I mean? that loads. Like if you look at um, particularly for me that the title winning season nineteen twenty, like Liverpool, yeah. Liverpool should really come out of that season with the highest points total ever. But obviously we win it with seven games to go and we're drunk, right? Which is absolutely fine. Yeah. But if I you know. look at, if you look at so many of them games and even going back to 18, 19, 19, 20, there's so many yeah. games Liverpool win by a goal. But yeah. you're never like I I can't and I suppose. 
that's probably the difference for me. Like I'm looking at games now in the first whatever three months of the season now, right? Yeah. And I'm kind of going. I'm saying to myself, Jesus Christ, we can see it here first. We'll never come back. Liverpool would all. Liverpool would always if they went goal. Yeah. Then you're going to go. They'll win. You just kind of shrug and go. You know, okay, like, well, yeah, well, we'll score like, three now in the next hour. Exactly. Right? Exactly. Look, yeah. I remember being away to Southampton in. I, it might have been 18, 19, and it's yeah. a big game away to them. We go 1 0 down early and come back and win a 3 1 or 3 2 or whatever it is. But, but you kind of felt Liverpool will come back, whereas this season you don't. Yeah. And then, but but even we go a goal, and I have to be honest, we go a goal up there um, last night, great yeah. header, and I'm kind of going, get another one. Right? Oh, and yeah. I always and think that to myself. I want that, that second, yeah. Yeah, but even if Liverpool ever went through a rocky period two or three years ago before half time, you go, just get the half time, he'll sort it. And we, if it's have to stay 1 0, it will. And we were always yeah. so confident because we we're usual when we were winning 1 0, we'd have a lot of the ball anyway. And it was just a case of the other team gave up and we kind of slowed down and everyone kind of called yeah. it quits on 65. Where it's a bit exactly. different now, where you're kind of going, Oh, for fuck's sake, there's 25 minutes left here. And we've literally hit the post twice, the bar three times, the yeah. keepers having a worldie. And you know something else is going to happen at the far end. Like, but, I felt that with with, uh, with the Brighton game. I was like, oh, we've taken the lead too early here. When when you went 3-2 up and it was like, yeah. whatever, 60-something, or I don't know yeah. what it was, but it was early enough in the second half. And I was like, oh, if it was like, like, for example, like that Salah goal against City, like that came at just the right time. Like mm -hmm. if, you know what I mean? Like that's not too early. Like if it was five minutes earlier, I would, I would have been, been like, I don't know. Yeah. And um, if you actually, if you actually look at that City game, you hear in the commentary, I'm saying, you know, about five minutes before Salah's goal, City are starting to gather a lot of momentum here and they're starting to get on top. Yeah, and, yeah. and then Salah goes and scores, you know, like brilliant. We needed that because yeah. if it went another five minutes, we could have been one nil down. But yeah. Um, so you're still you're still okay. I think you've the right attitude. They've banked enough during the, during the last couple of years. You go listen. If this ends up being ah run of the mill top four, you kind of have to take it and we go again next year. Is that where you are? Because I think it's a fair place to be. I think so. Like I'd still I'd still be like I I'd be disappointed if we finished fourth. And I, again, like I, it could just be being too optimistic because a lot of teams are playing very well who who wouldn't normally be above Liverpool. Like yeah. Arsenal are playing very well. Um, Spurs they're not exactly playing well but they're getting they're getting decent enough results um, I still kind of like I'm, like, I'm gunning for the, for that top two still yeah. I'm waiting for Arsenal to hopefully eventually have a bit of a blip and you know we're only what seven points off City like we've played them again like you know there's a lot of tougher teams around I just still think like there's you know we've got players coming back um, from from injury and all this so I just kind of I'm fairly optimistic. Yeah, like I said, I've, I've, I think they've just they've, they've banked enough goodwill that I'm just kind of like, okay, like they'll pull us out of it. Yeah, you and know? you know, there's a lot of talk. There's a lot of talk that come January, Liverpool will make a move in the transfer market to strengthen because <coughs> we have got those injuries. Um, yeah, you know, Jota, Jota, and Diaz. You know, Diaz has been brilliant since he came in, and he's yeah. he's always been available. It's just one of those. <laughs> He'll be back. That's fine. But I think yeah. fans get a bit nervous when you look at the likes of Ari Kate is back in training, but. How long for? Yeah. Um, Milner's not getting any younger. Oxley Chamberlain is back, but again, how long for? Yeah. Jones the same. He's been a little bit where you haven't seen even Fabinho's. Fabinho's been a bit worried as well. Yeah, and, and it's like you see that, and you kind of say yourself, one or two. And if you got one in January, just the bolsters, and it gives everyone a lift. You never know where it can go. And I yeah, was talking yeah. to an Arsenal fan the other day, and I said Liverpool aren't in the title race, and he went, "Hold on, Arsenal have won nine of their first ten, right?" Yeah. Okay, he said they've won nine of their first ten. He said they've twenty seven points. He said Liverpool currently sit on sixteen points. He said that's eleven points. He said. He said, trust me. He said if Arsenal were to draw two games, and Liverpool yeah. to win two, and it got to seven points, he said you would put Liverpool favourites to overhaul Arsenal between now yeah. and the end of the season. He said that. He said. I know you look at the league table after 10, and this isn't me big enough Liverpool to go on a massive title charge, but he was the way he was trying to do it, maybe he was trying to talk himself into it as an Arsenal fan because, you know, yeah. I've done it as a Liverpool fan over years where you're kind of going, are you in a race? Oh, I don't know. Mm. And you're kind of trying to back yeah. off it because you don't want to get too invested because Liverpool, yeah. you know, invariably fucking crush you at some stage. Um, <laughs> but he was, that's what his reasoning was behind it. He was like, well, yeah, we're four points clear to see. He said, but if we lose a game and they win a game, so there's one point, and who are you backing yeah. over? Thirty, still about well, well, twenty eight, twenty seven games, or whatever it might be. You're backing um, City all day long, you know. So and plus, sort of like <laughs> like 
mentality kind of com- comes into it because like i think the the you know you see arsenal or or even maybe city lose or draw a couple of games and then it gets in other teams heads like oh we can actually if we if we give yeah. it a go and if we do this and that i feel like that's what's happened to liverpool early this year that like first yeah. few results were you know bad and it was just kind of like teams thought all right like you know we can we can get them here like it yeah. we had this aura about them last season and the seasons before where you're like but well, we're not getting that now out of this match now you know all of a sudden they were they were kind of doing that up until i think maybe, hopefully we've uh, turned the corner now yeah but that could just as easily i feel happen to any of the other teams where you know you oh yeah lose a couple of points and then all of a sudden you're yeah. they're second guessing themselves you know what i mean like i know that's we're getting level really we're at, Andy. Into, that's yeah, the level we're you at, you see because if i had someone to say right go in and and say Lose, draw, draw, right? You're kind yeah. of going, oh, that's a sticky patch. That kills you in this league if you want yeah. to win a league title when Man City are about. Because that means that you've dropped seven points in three games, right? And it's just, yeah. you can't do that. Like Liverpool and right. Man City have made it where you need to drop less than 20 points in a league season to be champions. That's where yeah. they are right now. That's you the know, standard. Liverpool, with seven games taken off in 19-20, dropped 16 points in a season. Yeah. It's seven games taken off. You know yeah. what I mean? It's it's fucking mad. Like, and that's the standard. Yeah. Like when you look back at 18, 19, Liverpool drop 17 points in the league season and lose a boy a point. That is the standard. Yeah. So Arsenal, <clears throat> as good as they are and as good as they have been, Arsenal need to look and go, see what we've done there. We mm-hmm. have to do that three more times. Yeah. Exactly. That's what we have to do. We have to do it three more times because if they go on that if they went on that trajectory, Arsenal yeah. would drop about 11 points this season, 12 points this season. Yeah. And that's what they have to do. And that's the standard, yeah. Yeah, that's exactly. the standard. So, you know, and I think this league is kind of built where teams will take more points off each other. And if, if you're dropping it down to early 90s, late 80s, early 90s points wise, you still have to put Liverpool and Man City in there because you know they're the only two that have done it in the last exactly. five years. You know, it's, it's mad. Um, your own podcast though, because away from the, yeah. away from, um, being the better version of Martin, the version of Martin Twilight that Martin Twilight should be. Um, you have your own pod uh, with Terry. Yeah. Um, what's so great yeah. about pod? And I looked That's it up it. and <laughs> I was like, wow, well, this is fucking mad. <laughs> what is this? Yeah, because it's like, I, I said, right, let me, because I like to see where pods grow from, right? Yeah. And, and I went down to, to the bottom and I was like, nice. Simpson stuff, right? They're just having a bit of crack here. And then I was like, Nicholas Cage. And I'm like, what the fuck's going on? <laughs> And it was like, it was, I was like, are they doing movie reviews? Are they just talking about Nicolas Cage? Because Nicolas Cage is a really interesting character. Yeah. Um, but where did it start and how did it get from The Simpsons to, oh. to Nicolas Cage to guests oh. reviewing films? Like, are you ringing guests going, here, do us a favor, watch Nicolas Cage film there and I'll, I'll ring you on Wednesday and we'll talk about it. Is, is that what? Yeah. So um, we kind of. Like the the people that that we've got on uh, to sort of talk about them are, would just be kind of like Irish comedians or people that that we might know or or things like that. But we kind of like I suppose like it started at the start because we had we just thought I oh, will just do a show and we'll we'll review something that everyone has seen. So we so we thought okay we'll do classic Simpsons, and then I kind of got I just preferred the sort of shit talking and just talking about you know random stuff like football or like whatever stuff we've been up to. And the Simpsons stuff uh, kind of took a took a back seat. So then we're like, okay, well, we'll like we had a Patreon series, and uh, I hadn't seen any of the Marvel movies, so and like I was very skeptical about them. I was always I was always giving out about them and saying that they were shite and all this. Even I like, hadn't seen one. I'm saying, and so, yeah, and so the whole premise of the series of that was because he's a real film buff, my uh, co-host. So we we went in order and watched all the Marvel movies, and it was just. We sort of struck on something there because it was the the premise of the show has basically become Terry drags me kicking and screaming watching all these movies that I don't want to watch. And then it's just kind of I, I just end up giving out about them the whole pod. And, you know, like he's a real purist and I'm a real like, oh, that's shy. That's yeah. stupid. What's that all about? You know what I mean? That sort of stuff. And we just kind of have taken that to other series now. So we did the Nicolas Cage one. We did a, a Will Smith one. We did a, the Marvel one. So we, we just kind of do do random these sort of maybe eight nine episode series and just sort of pick a random topic he picks the topic actually um <laughs> okay. and then you and, just get told and, what to watch and what to i just get told like oh we're, we're doing wes anderson and you know 
whereas I wouldn't be a, a movie connoisseur. I'm like, oh, this is boring. This is this is shy. Mm-hmm. And so uh, people seem to seem to like watching me get annoyed and watching yeah. him, <laughs> um, you know, explain to me why these things are good. So that's and kind did of you ever get you ever is. get viewers or, or listeners to your shows or you know followers on on socials coming on and go, uh, can you watch this film and let me know what you think. Oh yeah, yeah. Now, like chance. Now we usually don't, unless we were already planning on doing it. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. we don't really take. I mean, maybe on on the uh, Patreon, um, we'll we'll put some options out there and things like that. But generally, I mean, like I I just find it. I'm not great at watching movies anyway. Like it's just kind of weird to have yeah, a podcast. I, think, yeah, about. I, I know a lot of people that just have gone away from movies and are just obsessed with TV series. And I think that's the thing. Yeah. Uh, I'm the, I'm the I, listen. Hands up. I'm the force one that I'll, if I turn around, like. Uh, me and my wife are going to watch something. She said, yeah. let's watch a film. And I go, oh, I heard this thing about a great series. And she's like, Gav, listen, we literally sit down twice a week, like <laughs> if, at most to watch television together because she works during the day. I, w- I mm. work during the night. So, you know, it's it's, yeah. it's difficult. And she's like, yeah. just watch a film. It's a one-off thing where we can both at the end of it go, that was shy and we can move on, you know. Uh, whereas There's the series, something... she's like, Gav, we'll watch the first two episodes of the series. And then, I won't see you for a week because the kids yeah. and work and stuff. Exactly. And then by the end of it, I come back and go, do you want to watch that again? And she and I go, um, I'll watch the other four episodes of it. And she's like, yeah. watch them without me. And then it's like, fuck. So, exactly. you know, films, there is a sense, there is a sense of satisfaction about fil- finishing a film. I find. Yeah, definitely. Like, for me I, have, I, have, watch them. I have two kids here and it's the same thing. If I, if we finish a full, a full movie, like where well, we yeah. really did something today. Like, yeah, you know? yeah. It's a massive achievement. Like, <laughs> like we really uh, accomplished something. So yeah. with a series, it's just ongoing, you know? Yeah. It's um the series stuff. Like, you know, my wife comes to go, um, I was watching this thing and I go, I wouldn't watch that. And then she, yeah. I'd say to her, I've seen a brilliant thing. Like I love murder and true crime yeah. and you know, and then, Oh, she loves all that as well. I'd watch more than True Crime, and then the next night I'd say, I am, Do you know what? I start watching Ted Lasso. And she's like, What the fuck? Yeah, Ted yeah. Lasso? Like, I'm really late to the Ted Lasso party, right? I still I'm, haven't seen it. Oh, it's fucking brilliant. But yeah, it it's, it's something that I just, I was, we were literally on Xbox one night, me and a couple of lads playing, and <laughs> something came up about it. And I went, What is Ted Lasso? And they were like, yeah. Have you never watched Ted Lasso? They're like, Oh, he's an American fella, gets a job at a Premier League club because the woman who owns the club hates her husband and she's divorced. And I was like, I'll watch it, thinking, be a bit cheesy this but it's actually really yeah. good and I'm, I'm I heard, kind of I heard it's hot, brilliant uh, there's two series and I'm kind of like well I watched the last couple of episodes because I don't know if a series 3 is coming I don't really want the end because it's quite you know and, I know would you ever get to the end of a series like that and you're just like well what are we going to do now do you know what, do you <laughs> know what? And, and listen I could go on about TVs and movies all night which you're right because I have weird <laughs> views on them right but you know which one really got to me I yeah. watched a thing on Netflix called Shit's Creek right? oh yeah uh, have you watched it I've seen a couple of episodes. Right. I, I watched it thinking I won't like this at all. The yeah. woman in it is the mother from Home Alone. Home Alone, right? yeah. And she is on fucking believable in it. Right. I mean she <laughs> is great. unbelievable in it. And I watched it and I kinda of got into it. It's twenty minutes of show, it's really easy. And I kind of find myself laughing the full couple of episodes and I kind of this is really good. Then you kinda of get invested in the characters, even though it's yeah. a bit out it's not that it's a bit out there, it's a bit Mm, this it's doesn't crazy. really happen to people, but I go with it. And by the yeah. end of it, I was fucking devastated. It was over. Like devastated. That's the thing. Over, like you, you, know? you, you get so attached to these shows and these like characters. Like we're the same with. Uh, it's always sunny in Philadelphia. Like that's what we're watching right now. Yeah. I don't know if you've seen it, but they're, but they're like twenty minute episodes. There's like sixteen seasons of it. Yeah, and it's just it's so, it's so funny. But I find now like. That's what we'd be more inclined to watch was it would be little bite sized things for, that you yeah. don't really have to think about yeah. too much but then after I, a long day at work. But then sometimes I go back and watch like people go on, oh, the wire are sopranos, the wire are sopranos. And I'm like, yeah, mm, I'm not getting into this argument, but I will go back and start watching the wire again or the sopranos again. Yeah. You know, I'll be honest now, and again, this could start a whole other tangent, but I didn't like The Wire, and I think I'm the only one in the world who didn't like it. I have one, and brother. I gave it a good eight, nine episodes. I, I like, well, the funny thing is, if you give it eight or nine it. episodes in the four series, yeah, that's what right, I did, which is fine, right? If you get to the second series, the second series is what usually kills people watching The Wire because they go, What the fuck's going on here, bro? I thought it was I just, right, The Wire is just excellent, and like, I, <laughs> I think The Sopranos is the best TV series that's ever oh, yeah. made, right. But my it's brother, I've one brother, and every time I mention The Sopranos, is his response. And we even me and mates, me and my brother had mutual friends, and when we're all together, 
my mates would deliberately say, just start watching Sopranos again because my brother um, instinctively would turn and go, fuck the Sopranos. Have you ever seen The Wire? <laughs> and that's his, that's his response all the time. The Wire is <gasps> magnificent. But then again, yeah. I told a lot of people that Pineapple Express, the movie, was absolutely amazing. And it is absolutely amazing. Thank Gav. you. You're dead right. You see, thank it's you. Absolutely told, incredible. It's I, I told a, it's people hilarious. that it was a fucking an amazing film. And look, I got eaten alive. And I do. Don't every listen time I, mention to him, it, but yeah, I feel like yeah, I'm in the same right. place here by saying uh, <laughs> this is Pine a safe Apple, place. <laughs> Point Apple Express. But uh, you're, you're, so the podcast you do, your review and stuff, yeah. your mate is basically making you watch all this stuff and, you're, and just getting your reaction. Basically, yeah. So it's it's called What's So Great About The whole premise is I'm asking him what's so great about it and he's telling me what's so great about it. And uh, people are either agreeing with me or they're agreeing with him. They're, they're usually agreeing with uh, one of us. But it's it's a lot of fun. We, we, we've been mates for a long time. We, mm. we, um, we were in school together. We, we worked in Centra for like seven years together. We, you know what I mean? So yeah. we started a podcast after that. And yeah, it's like we're on a, we're on a hiatus the minute um, he's expecting his second child now in a couple of weeks so we're coming back to it in in january yeah. but uh but yeah it's it's a good crack as i'm sure you as i'm sure you feel yourself with this. yeah listen uh the, the likes of that i love because it, it, you get to do stuff but you also get to argue and there's nothing better yeah than I mean, the podcast is is mainly us arguing yeah, yeah and there's nothing better than arguing <laughs> with your mate over like oh what's the best yeah. tv series of all time who fucking cares if you like that one and i like that one but very you're gonna <laughs> just argue anyway aren't you um yeah, exactly look it, I'll put the link in the description for your podcast on on wherever platform you want. Thank you. Um, and we'll make sure that that gets sent out as well. But um, it is what's so great about Pod. If you check that out, you, if you type that into Instagram, I've seen that. I, I think I was looking up on Spotify. I think it was earlier. That's it. Yeah, we're um, on Spotify. But you'll find them across all them. So um, what's so great about Pod? But I put, we'll put the link in the description for your Spotify because then people just find it from Lovely. there as well. Um, Cheers, some questions though before we go, right? Great. Um, because I asked, uh, we have a Telegram group. It's full of viewers of this show and of this channel. And I just said, lads and ladies, have you any questions? They can be anything you want. Um, we got a, we got a few in um, because a lot of people Great. are just lazy in there. They just talk about football and go, oh, um, you're talking about Liz Truss. I'm not interested. And they go off. Uh, Liz Truss. I wouldn't know what. I literally, if you asked me to say, put two coherent sentences together about Liz Truss, I wouldn't even know where to start. So, no, yeah. either would I really. I just know she was there <laughs> the and now she's football. not. Um, she was but she was prime minister for a short amount of time and it now was she's like not bright people are... at Leeds. it was ridiculous yeah. but, <laughs> but the thing is like and, and you're right because i i have a lot of people on twitter that would be um in the uk liverpool mainly liverpool based and you know yeah. they're just like what the fuck is this woman at and then i kind of go and look and then there was one day where <laughs> there was one day where one lad um message or put a video in and i i still don't know to this day if it's real or not it was a video of liz trust basically saying and I'm going to go to fucking Africa to increase her park options. And the whole <laughs> room is silent. Then she kind of goes, and they went, oh, fair play. Yeah, yeah. And, and I went, that can't be real. That can't. Well, I hope it is, but I can't dig down into it because you if I even, dig down You wouldn't into even it, know. You wouldn't even know these days. Like something like that could happen in politics and it's just another day. Like, <laughs> yeah, but I, like but they see, used to hide it so well. Now the it, last like whatever, five, ten years, it's just... A massive circus and we all just accept that yeah it's, uh, yeah exactly it's an and then when the next lot come in they go uh we change and when they go to labor obviously in, in the uk hopefully if they yeah. do or whatever um in in two years time they go they haven't got a clue this fucking labor government and let's it's bring that to the tories but it's it's, it's all no. fucking it all just goes in a circle but yeah. i couldn't get invested in that video as much as i totally enjoyed it because i thought if that's not real <laughs> okay yeah it's kind of ruining the mystery of liz trust me but yeah. if it is real, I'm going to get way too deep into how mental this person is. And again, it's going to ruin it for me. But just let me hang on the edges, laughing at random yeah. stuff that people are putting up and on go with it. But she just was me, there. Just and let me walk outside. Not. And then the talk yeah, just, that Boris Johnson is going to join the leadership race for the Tories. Which I heard, would, yeah. He'd come back Hilarious. in, which would be absolutely unbelievable. I kind of like the memes. It. The memes. It'd be yeah. worth it for the memes alone. And I kind of likened it today on Twitter to when Gus Hiddink used to rock up at Chelsea as interim manager. Um, every couple of years I think that's what Boris Johnson will end up being but let me yeah. fly through these questions right okay um, favourite lip sync that you've done um, do you know I think the FA Cup one is probably my favourite one um, uh, the penalty shootout 
the shootout one yeah okay. uh, i don't like like this is going to sound so <laughs> like egotistical but like that's the one that like i i look back on it before i posted it and i was crying laughing at my own jokes yeah <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> okay. and that's the only one that's made me do that and i and like like i i, I work with my sister and like she just seen me like this like this is this is how egotistical it sounds i sound like such a twat where, where like she she seen me at my desk just going like this and she's like what are you laughing at and i showed her i was like because she's not into it at all yeah and i was like i'm laughing at my own video and she's like you know like so. <laughs> okay <laughs> that's the only one that's actually made me laugh the the, the, the middle finger at the end to to kenny and uh, rushy yeah um i just like i don't know why but that one just for some reason uh makes me laugh the most so yeah it's yeah <laughs> okay so people go and check that out um, yeah. it is really good pinned. Actually, it's, it's I, pinned I'm, on my twitter yeah it's pinned on your twitter there you go yeah. um just pinning it up there for maximum abuse um <laughs> commentary you've watched but couldn't pull it off it was just too hard do you know the one the one that I get asked for the by far the most is the Aguero, okay, um, one, and I try I've tried it twice and it just I'm just it's just, it's not happening, right. you know I I don't I I don't know why I just can't quite get it maybe because it's not a Liverpool yeah. <laughs> one, but uh, because like I think without trying to go too deep into it I think I think what people find funny about it is the little. The little things that the video adds to the commentary, and when and when they're already going mad, I, f- I find like I'm I'm just going mad with it, like you know, yeah. like whereas I prefer to do a little like a snide little look to the side or something like that. Whereas yeah. the ones that the ones that are big mad, but like, this oh, this is the, but the, or, but the Aguero one is before Martin Tyler turned into what Martin Tyler is today for me. Yeah, that's probably yeah. his last great day. He probably thought I've yeah. seen it all now. I'm just going to turn into one of these. I'm going to pick a team, hate them, and I'm going to go from there, like. Yeah. Um, and in fairness to him, when you watch him, when you watch him actually commentate on other teams, that's not Liverpool. He's a bit mm. like that with other teams as well. It's just obviously we're in a Liverpool think, bubble, I mean, so we see it a lot. Exactly, more. yeah. Like I think there's definitely that, and I think he's, you know, he's not getting any younger either. So like that's the thing. Like I, like I do genuinely like like I. I definitely see it, and that's why I'm do, I, I I do the videos. But like, like I definitely don't uh, like I'm only ever really sort of taking the piss of it. I like I wouldn't be too sort of venomous on it. I've seen him do it for other teams. I've seen him do it for City. I've seen him do it, do it for. I haven't seen him do it for United actually, but I've no, seen, United I've seen him do it, do it for some others. There's yeah. there's favorite child. Um, <laughs> and them questions. Uh, it was Red Steve that wants to know about the commentary. Um, Emma wants to know about your favorite lip sync. Lip sync. Um. Dynamo Kev asked, have you your top five pundits? No, I think that's one of the hardest questions you can ask anyone because I don't think you're top five. If you have, have you, you don't, you can say no. I, um, I'm i a big character Neville fan and I know uh, Neville is divisive among among our kind, but uh, I, I I love him. I love the overlap. I love, I love Monday Night Football. Um, the two of them just have very good sort of Particularly Carragher, and again, you may say that's that's biased or whatever, but he's just very, very detailed analysis. And to be honest, like it's the only one that I'd really watch would be like the sort of Sky Sports one. Um, so I'd have to, I have to just kind of go with the team. I don't really, I'm not mad on the BBC guys. I'm not mad on um, BT. Yeah, like I, I like, um, I say Carragher, Neville, you know, Roy Keane, like these sort of guys, like they're they're. They're always sort of entertaining. BT, I noticed the 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 goal shows back, and I don't know if you if you know James James Richardson. You know he, he yeah. used to do the the football Italia. Um, I like I listen to their podcast all the time, so it's good to see yeah. them back on on BT. They're they're always really good. Him and James Horncastle and a few of those lads. Yeah, I think <coughs> Carragher and Neville for me. I can't stand Gary Neville, and it's not just because <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. I just I just don't like him. Um, I don't yeah. like the fact that he's he feels like he's the head of labour now, um, and obviously it's now is the time <laughs> to shine because you know stand up now yeah, yeah. shows what it's all about. Um, <laughs> I think the fact that he's going off to commentate in the World Cup um, is is mm. mental. Um, I think his his mad attack on American owners of Premier League football clubs, mm. while not really saying anything about Middle Eastern. Um, yeah, yeah, ownerships because he, for me, he strives for Manchester United you know, to sports watch like Manchester City. I think mm. it's a bit um weak of him. Um, yeah, and and my window for enjoying Gary Neville is a really small window, and that's where they stand them up on Monday Night Football and just talk about what's going on on the pitch there. 
Yeah, and when without, it's match specific. Yeah, match specific stuff. Yeah. I think like the only thing on Trent a couple of weeks ago I thought was excellent because he was showing b- body shape, where he should be, where <clears> he, where he should be looking. And I, don't get me wrong, brilliant at that. But the rest yeah. of it is a fucking circus for me. And <laughs> I, I'm, I'm when quite open about that. And I've you know yeah, like, I've no, got, like I've, I've seen a lot of Jerry I've seen a lot of people say, and say, say this to me similar. and go, "What are you doing?" I go, "Well, like, that's how I feel." You know what? Yeah, that's it. So I've seen, well, I love Ian Roy. I like Ian. Oh yeah, I think yeah, he's very yeah. honest. I think he's very honest. Yeah, he's but great. after that, I don't even think they're po- pundits anymore. I think they're just people out there. I, I kind of <laughs> the soonest Pogba thing was weird, where he just blamed Paul Pogba on everything that happened in the world ever. Um, I just, I mean, soon as and it's it's weird because like you know obviously he's Liverpool legend and 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 all that, but he was kind of just. I kind of feel like he doesn't know what he's gonna say. Like literally, I, I, he doesn't know what the next sentence out of his mouth is going to be. <laughs> is that because you he's know? caught in? I want to say this, and but they're kind of scripting this over here because you know they script a lot of it, right? Where they go to a break, right, and they right. Go, right after the break, I'm going to ask you about this, Graham, and you know, blah, blah, right, right, know, right. And, all right, maybe that's not scripted. Maybe that's just giving you a heads up. But yeah, they're kind yeah. of push it down a certain way. And I think when I look at Graham, <laughs> when honestly, when I look at Graham Sunes, right, I think Graham Sunes is caught. Right in a corridor of uncertainty, to use a football term, where he's doing this <laughs> polished thing for Sky, but his yeah. years of experience in the RTE with Giles and Dunphy going absolutely rasher, right? Yeah, um, over that <laughs> exactly. Yeah, it's trying its best to get out while he's sitting, you know, in the in the. It's like it's like they've sort of dressed up like. Uh... <laughs> It's like it's like those movies where you've got like a caveman, but you put him in a suit and yeah, you, and you yeah. try and make him like you know, yeah. like no, this is a telephone. Yeah, this, because you know, like, it, when you see it, when you he see he wants Graham, to just when you go see off. when you see Graham Sinness on RTE, like there's some absolutely amazing clips of Graham Sinness on RTE where Joyce and Tumphy are fucking go mad. Yeah, and he's sitting there and he's kind of looking he and it. he's he's open. He said it. It's his favorite ever place. To, yeah. To do analysis because it was just bananas, and I think yeah. when he's at Sky, it is a bit of that where it's kind of going. Just let me for shackled. five minutes. Let the shackles off. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah exactly. I like I like seeing Estill point, um, but the rest of them they aren't pundits. They're just being told what to do, and they they they're vague on down the road where he puts up on social media for reactions and and clicks, and and people will click on that and they get an advertising thing. And, and... Uh, Gavin and Chris ask similar questions. We'll put them together. Have you ever looked into new areas, i.e. Post match, um, other commentators from say BBC Six O Six or whatever it might be. You know, are you watching Gaelic football and going, "Oh God, I might do that." Is there any other areas um, you want to go to, or is it just like leaving I'd, the Martin Tyler? That's enough. No, like I'd kind of, I do like to do other ones, um, but usually in football, I did. But there's one rugby one on me TikTok. I don't know if you have ever seen that one. You know that famous one where he's like, "Send the dirty get off," oh, yeah, um, yeah, and all yeah, that. Yeah. So there's there's one there on the TikTok for that. That's, that's literally the only non-football one. I actually tried to do um, the Danny Mills one today. Um, have you seen that clip where he's talking? Oh, about he's it? basically like, saying Liverpool. This goal has come out with nothing for Liverpool. Liverpool. Were abject, like out of, out of nothing. It was just you know, it, it skidded off. It's wet. It skidded off and bounced up, and you know yeah. all this sort of stuff. And I tried to do it. I, I just couldn't. I couldn't get it. Like you know, it was it was shy. So yeah. I was just like, ah, fucking no, I won't do that. But, so there's uh, a comfort I, zone with Hoyler there because you know the way he speaks and the. the... I think yeah, like him. I like I've done him. I've done Drury. I've done a few Brazilian ones. I've done one or two Italian ones, which got pulled for copyright. Syria, yeah. obviously, don't don't fuck around. Um, but uh, I've, I've I was thinking about doing maybe some UFC ones or something. I'd, I'd watch that the odd time and you know things like that. But it's more like it'd be more probably the the, the football because I like I I like sort of having the having the clip underneath as well and things like that. Yeah. So. Um, yeah. But I'm, I'm 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 definitely open to it, but nothing nothing's popped out so far. Yeah, maybe some something good will come up in another spot which might push you there, and then you just end up in a rabbit hole there doing that. Yeah, exactly, well. exactly. Um, has Martin Toyle or anybody else reached out to you to say, "Listen, stop doing this," or I really <laughs> enjoy it? No. Uh, well, a few people. Um, there's a lad. Jesus, I can't even remember his name. It's terrible. But the lad who did the. Uh, if you, I don't know if you've seen the Brazilian commenta- commentary for when Allison scored that header against West Brom. Okay. And uh, he just he, he he's just going off anyway and stuff like that. And and that guy messaged me and said, "Oh, you know, you know, now it was in Brazilian. I had to I had to Google translate, it, just saying that like, oh, a really funny video and stuff like that. But apart from that, not really. Like I haven't okay. really gotten uh, like a few people who like." Uh, 
one of the lads from the Anfield rap um gave, gave uh, sent us a message for a, a video I did about football trolls. I think it was that one or something else. So I thought that was kind of cool. Yeah. Um. So a few little things like that where I'm thinking, oh, cool. But uh. But yeah, no, not not well, not Mar- Mar- not Mar- yet. Mar- anyway. Tyler hasn't sent a solicitor's letter. No. But people keep people keep tagging Jamie Carragher in them, and I'm like, ah, oh, it's like he's never gonna, he's not gonna come and say, yeah, funny video. Like he's not gonna yeah, go why, against me. I, I don't know why because it's not like you're you're. I you can't though, can you? Like he's he's sitting next to him every week. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah. You know. Um, I don't know. But yeah. Um, first Liverpool <laughs> kit or memory. First Liverpool kit was the. Do you remember that like gold, Carlsberg? It was like a black and gold. Oh yeah, the the gold with all the black mid mid nineties and the black speckles or whatever it was. I can't. Ninety three, ninety four, I think. Yeah, and I had Fowler twenty three on the so back. Did of I. It. Yeah, uh, that was probably my first my first jersey. First memory is probably the four three against Newcastle. Okay, yeah. Uh, no, actually, well, what what can what was before when, was Blackburn winning the league before? Um, yes, think, that would be ninety four, ninety five. Yeah. yeah, that's actually my first one because I remember that's because it, it 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 was my cousins who uh, got me into Liverpool when I was like six or seven, and I remember they, we were all watching that match together. But like they were cheering against Liverpool. I remember Redknapp scored that free kick, yeah. and me aunties and I were like, "No," because it meant like you know. You're gonna... <laughs> I remember thinking like, "What? Like what, where did he score Liverpool jerseys?" And it's yeah. Disgusting. yeah, I was so confused. So I always remember that. Oh, that was funny. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's not bad. Um, one sporting moment, if you were to properly commentate on it, that you would love, you would have loved to commentate on. I know you're not a commentator, like, but like it's actually me and my voice. Just you being in the moment, <laughs> in this Spartan moment to commentate on. I think, I think the Barcelona four 0 Okay. If I'm gonna, I'm I'm gonna stick to Liverpool because it'd be hard for me to think on the spot or something. Right. Else. But that was the one, like that's been the most, like, um, that I've kind of been, like, it, it felt like something else, something, something like this sounds so stupid, but like something outside of the norm, you yeah. know, that felt something a little like. You know, you know, I don't want to say miraculously, but it was it was kind of by the end I was just kind of slumped. I wasn't I would, like out of all the matches I would like where it would finish, it'd be a real tight one or a massive comeback. I'd be jumping around like yes, but with this one I just kind of slumped, yeah. like like the players did. I was just like I I I don't believe it. I, yeah. I, I you know what I mean. So that yeah. was just one that throughout the game it was just a roller coaster of emotion. So okay. I'd say that'd be that'd, that'd be, be a good one, one to commentate. On, that'd yeah. be a mad one. Where were you for the two thousand and five Champions League final last, Gavin? Um, I was in my mate's house, uh, lads I went to college with, and it's funny because they weren't Liverpool fans, but as the night progressed, they were cheering like as loud as I was. I just remember I mean, my voice was hoarse when we scored those three in six minutes or whatever. I was just running out on the balcony, just shouting into the street sort of thing. Yeah. Um, I just remember it was just it was just surreal. So yeah, I was only I think I was twenty, and I was just yeah. Just, yeah. just, just after a day in college. I've told it before. I was in a pub, and yeah, where were you? I was in a pub and packed with Liverpool fans. But my wife, not really into football. Well, would watch yeah. football, but doesn't support anyone. Um, mm. and her mother and father were there, and they were kind of sitting over in the corner, going, "Yeah, there's a match on." Gav's watching this match, and I was fucking <laughs> like a madman, losing. And, it. Yeah, literally come home that night, um, no phone. Lost me cigarettes, um, <laughs> lost me keys, Carnage. lost me money, everything. <laughs> I went down to the pub the next day and they had um, they had the phone, they had the keys, and they had the wallet behind the bar. Nice. And I was like, "What? How do you?" And he goes, "Mate, you would not believe the amount of stuff that we found here last night that people must have just <laughs> thrown like in any direction they wanted <laughs> when Liverpool won it." He said. I've never seen anything like it. He said there was fucking people up on tables hanging out of light fittings. He said, with the amount of phones. <laughs> and he said, literally, we were saying to people when they come down, um, just like, this is 2005, so it's not like it, yeah. brilliant, brilliant phones back then. But like, they were literally like, what What does yours look like when I press the button? Yeah. You know, and, and they were trying to. Just you know, a bunch like, of 3210s. Just, just a load of stuff, yeah. <laughs> just take your phone. And he was like, what's on your key ring so you could identify it? And then he 
take it because he wasn't obviously just handing out keys and wallets to anyone yeah. who said he missed one. Yeah, so it, yeah, it was just one of the most mental. I nights just, I, there's just like nothing, nothing like football does that. Like you know, like I was only, I was only explaining it to to my daughter. She's like, "Why do you care?" You know, it's just kind of like, uh, it's like, n- like I, like I could get the best news in my life, like something that I've been waiting for for ages, and and my reaction to be like, "Oh, brilliant." Whereas if Liverpool score in the 90th minute to, you know, like that Carvalho goal against Newcastle, I'm like, yeah, like nothing, nothing makes you go <laughs> yeah, like that. Yeah, like you could get yeah. the best news in any other walk yeah. of life. Nothing yeah. makes you go like, yeah. yeah. My wife so says that to me as well. Like the only time you really show emotion is when Liverpool win. Yeah, does. mine does too. You know, so I, I presume a vast majority of men and women, I suppose, because there's loads of yeah. women out there that love football. 100%. Their partners or their husbands mightn't be yeah, that into 100%. it and they're like you know <coughs> what's going on like you know but yeah, um nothing like it favorite commentator and it doesn't have to be martin toilet because martin toilet what you what you do your stuff on but uh, yeah martin toilet is my my work <laughs> yeah 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 i don't mix uh, work and pleasure don't mix um, work and pleasure is um, it peter drury yeah it has to be doesn't it like he's He's so he's just so good. Is even as one there for Salah, and in hindsight, I probably should have done a side by side or something like that because yeah. he's just effortless. Like you know, I've done like I've done one or two of his with the the Roma comeback and that Salah wonder goal last year against City, yeah. and and a few others, the Merseyside derby and stuff. And I just, especially when you're doing them, like you just realize Jesus, and he's thinking of these on the spot. Yeah. Just he's he's, he's something brilliant, else. He's a brilliant he's, level of he's, emotion, but the words he's the comes out at the same time is just yeah, amazing, isn't it? It's just what a treat, like when he's on. Yeah, yeah it's got to be true. I think he's brilliant. Um, I've really enjoyed that. I have to say, I could have yeah, been ins and out of the Pineapple Express, but we don't have <laughs> enough time. Um, if anybody is watching this or listening to it, because it'll be out across our YouTube and all our podcast channels as soon as we can get it um, sorted. Um, if you are watching this, go and make sure that you look up What's So Great About Pod. Um, it is Andy and it is Terry. And if you're into just random stuff, or you're into one fella saying, listen, watch this, and he's going, what? <laughs> this is shy. Um, and listen, that's about... And, and I, I know loads of our listeners and viewers will be into that because they love the random stuff we do. Class. Yeah, well, so, I hope I hope, I hope you check it out. <laughs> be, we have a lot of fun doing it and we probably spend half the, half the pod talking about the movie and the other half just talking random nonsense, shite, so. which is great. Yeah. It was probably yeah. the best way to go. Um, yeah, exactly. But go, make sure you go and check out Andy on that. He is, he is. If you type in Andy Cantwell into your Instagram or into your Twitter, you'll absolutely find him on there as well, or I presume TikTok as well. Yeah. And um, you can catch all his videos as they come out. It's been a pleasure. Um, we've spoken through loads and loads of stuff there. We've got some questions in and all, which is great. Um, like I said, if you're watching and you like what we do, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon so you're getting notified whenever we go live. Um, if you check out the link in the description, the link tree link in the description, you will find a link for our uh, day trippers beanies that are being um, brought to you in association with WeAreLiverpool.ie. There's a thing going on at the minute with that where if you go on to WeAreLiverpool.ie, you buy one item, that's great because they're, they're a great crew and um, they've really good merchandise. You get entered into a draw to win a Liverpool bundle, which has, I think, it's a, there's a there's a hat in there, there's a cap, there's a water bottle, there's a t-shirt and stuff like that. If you buy three items, you get entered three times. So, um, go and check that out. So, we are Liverpool.ie for that as well. That has been the viewers' voice special with Andy Cantwell. Um, I've been Gav, and um, we talk to you soon. Over now. <laughs>